Hey everyone, it's Golden here, and welcome back to another World of Corallis Top 5. So this is the very second one that we have done, that we're doing. The second Top 5 World of Corallis Creations. So this time it's on uh, sport complexes or, you know, something of the sort. I'm going to figure out the title of the video, and obviously you're going to see it. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, at number five here, built by me, um, it's a baseball diamond. I don't know why I kind of paused there. But yeah, it's a baseball diamond. Um, got parking over here. Why, why wouldn't we need parking? And the actual field. So we've got tons of, well, we've got a lot of bleachers here, you know, tons of space for people to sit. And my shaders, look at that, I don't know, this uh, iron bars don't go too well on the sunlight with that. Here, you know what, I'll undo this. To make it all better and the iron bars don't be all weird. There we go. Now, it's a bit easier to see. So. I'm just gonna fly around this, you know, it's a simple little, well not little, it's a pretty big baseball field honestly. I think it would be pretty reasonable to say this is about real life size. You know, you've got the warm up place, like <coughs> the, the uh, not dugout, I don't know why I said that. The, oh my gosh, it's at the tip of my tongue. The pitcher's where the pitches warm up, you know, they take their pitch. The infield, yes. We've got that mound, and you know, a lot of people or a lot of people could be sitting there, so you know, there could be a lot of pressure on you. And boom, better throw strike, because this thing could go soaring into one of these fountains. <laughs> uh, you know, I just wanted to add them for extra decoration, I guess. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. The fountains. Oh yeah, and also the lights. Got the sea lanterns. So interesting. And the foul line poles on both sides. You know, if it's in, if it's not foul, if it's fair, then you know goes past this pole. Boom, home run. So yeah, I knew it, but I just forgot it. It's called the bullpen. I don't know why I forgot that. Yeah, it's called the bullpen. Where the pitchers warm up. So there's one on each side, obviously, for each team. Also, one last thing. The dugouts. In the ground dugouts. You know, the bench. And you get up. You walk up the stairs. On deck. Circle. And you go in and you're ready to play. So, you know, pretty simple. Just a baseball field. And, yeah, I'll always leave obviously put how to get to all these places in the description and who they were by so yeah i'll see you guys at number four all right guys so we're at number four and this one is by a developer wait yeah dev called john sove or john so i'm not sure how to say his name but it's spelt john sove so it's kind of like oh yeah we've also got I forgot. So over here, you know, let's just start over here. So first of all, we've got two basketball courts. Interesting, very good, very nice. Pretty small, not the biggest area, I guess. Just for some like street basketball, I guess you could call it maybe street ball. I don't know. <laughs> and tennis courts, three of them. We all, you always gotta have those tennis courts. Just uh, you know, pretty simple well made I think and obviously the landscaping well yes landscaping and the surroundings and stuff like that really well made you know with bushes like the little gardens here and there and the trees surrounded by trees very good I like it a lot and also around the entire thing is like a huge park so with a pond and stuff so yeah oh I'm getting a bit of lag but not too bad okay so let's go over to the Baseball diamond over here. Pretty small, actually. Not the biggest. Not as big as mine, I would say. But, <clears throat> you know, pretty simple baseball diamond. Just some bleachers here. 
and some trees all around again pretty simple baseball diamond I like it and yes by John Sove I'll see you guys at number three all right guys so we're at number three on the list and this one is called the Rhine Beck or wait <clears throat> never mind that's just the uh, oh boy what is this lag um, 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 I don't know. Wait, I'm at 12 render distance. I think the server render distance is only like six chunks or something, or like four chunks. Because, like, if you let it load, it barely you can barely see for that long. But yeah, the server has a set uh, render distance. I can't really do much about that. So, yeah, Ryan Beck Rovers is the name of the team. I'm pretty, I would, I would say, FC. And <clears throat> it's by O U F C Waffle. I'm not sure if he changed his name yet. I don't know. I have a feeling he did. Maybe to like Waffle or something. Um, but yes, it's by him, that guy. And it's just a huge soccer dome. Really interesting. <laughs> Got a huge crowd over here in the stands. Wait, who is this? Is that Jodlum? Or is that Jodlum? Or someone? I don't know someone's head but uh yeah <coughs> interesting it looks like you can uh close and open the roof maybe or that's just probably supports yeah i would say i'm not really sure but uh yeah i like it oh ufc waffle simple not I, sh I keep saying simple it's not really simple but this must have taken a lot take a while to build obviously it's a huge soccer dome you know not just a field but the whole dome around it so yeah good job oh UFC waffle and yeah guys check this out and I'll see you at number two all right guys so we're at number two on the list now this is a really big uh, hockey center hockey dome whatever you want to say Hockey rink, obviously. So this one is by DHR Jelmer. And I'm not sure what the warp is closest. I'm not even sure, but yeah, I'll put the the, the TP po the position, you know, the coordinates in the description for you guys to come see it yourself. Uh, some little lighting bug here. Fix yourself. There you go. So it's kind of a work in progress. Still, I can you see up there the sign is kind of an X because it's a work in progress. Just still, but you know, the main part here is this, and it's pretty much finished, I would say. Maybe. Almost. I, I think it is. <laughs> uh, so, when you go out here, it's actually just like the entrance and stuff. But it's really cool, the shape that he made, the actual dome. And he's got kind of like some cafe and... See, look, yeah, still some work in progress stuff. But, you know, still a great build. Really good job. And I like it very much. And you guys can come see for yourselves. I wonder if these go into the... No, just storage. Okay, so. Yes, guys. That's number two, and I'll see you at number one on the list. All right, everyone. We are at number one on the list. Now this one, wait a second, I gotta do one, just a check, boy boy 8810, so his new name is like something else, um, I'll put it up on the screen obviously, landscaping by Xumiel, Xumiel, so, <clears throat> boy boy made this, or like, mm, boy master or something like that, I don't know, forget, boy legend, something like that, now, this thing is ginormous we've got four tennis courts over here I like them pretty easy simple things not simple I keep saying simple I don't know if you would say complicated but they're still cool very interesting I love it now this is like the main event I would say besides the actual building which we'll get into in a second we've got a running track and a shot put slash javelin kind of area here so I would say this is kind of like a track and field 
um, area right right here so yeah it's it's pretty cool now we've have a basketball court pretty big basketball court I think this is like uh, biggest one on the list so far I think and then we can move over here wait what is that over there oh boy I didn't even see this oh my <laughs> I think this it's a mini putt thing it's a putter uh, what do you want to call this putter kind of field area <laughs> oh my there's a whole thing for mini putt I missed it completely wow this thing is bigger than I thought it was oh my goodness I thought that it was just big from the you know basketball court the Running track in the track and field place. What is that? Oh my! <laughs> Archery! I didn't even see this. This place is huge. Now I saw this. It's a soccer field. You know, you can't really do much with a soccer field, but uh, I, th I think it's really cool. It's got the corner posts. <clears throat> well done on this. Well done on the whole thing, man. This is awesome. I'm a master builder and a master player. Okay then. Just a floating side there. <laughs> um, oh yes, and there's a skate park that we already did the other in the other top five. <clears throat> so we've been through the tennis courts, the track and field area, basketball court, soccer field. We already did the skate park in a previous video. <laughs> Archery, mini putt, and an entire course for the mini putt. Not just like a little putting area. But a whole course for it. <laughs> My, this is amazing. This is incredible. Oh yeah, I, I, there's some house plots over there. Um, but uh, man, it's awesome. So much work put into this. <coughs> you have to give this guy some credit. Hey, look, a huge duck. <laughs> now it's time to go inside the building because we haven't gone inside yet. But we've checked all the incredible stuff that was on the outside. Now, time to go in. Which the entrance is over here. And let's go. So, Sports Center. The actual building. Checking it, seems like. I'm going to go through every single detail because it probably will take a bit of time. We've got some change rooms, I believe. Yeah, these are some change rooms for the basketball and indoor soccer interesting very cool it's like a basketball court and indoor soccer combined but i would think that the basketball court would be a bit big <laughs> maybe just a bit i would think that the net should go like right at halfway point for the soccer field maybe <laughs> i don't know just my take at it so I think that's it for the actual building. It's just this huge indoor soccer slash basketball area. And some outdoor lounging areas. Tables and some chairs. And that's, I think, that's it. Very great job, boy legend. Big boy architecture. Okay. I... That makes sense because it's my by Boy Legends. I think it's Boy Legends with an S. He world edited everything. Boy Boy eight eight one zero. Yeah, that's not his name now. I remember he changed it to something. But yes, <coughs> very good job. Incredible work by Boy Boy or Boy Legend, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> this thing is huge. So guys. That is it for this walk top five World of Corrales top five creations on the topic of sport complexes. So, thank you for watching. Share with your friends and indeed like the video if you enjoyed. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.